Okay. Okay, so Lindsay part two. I have to see where actually I left off. I hope that I... Well, here it goes anyway. So what I'm getting is I feel that Lindsay was involved in some kind of a relationship, a secret relationship, uh, possibly overseas, where maybe he and this person or persons would, uh, secret relationships or relationship where he would meet up. Um, and I think that this person, this was definitely a secret relationship, but it ended and it ended suddenly. And I think maybe the, somebody tried to blackmail him. Uh, or I certainly hope nobody died. Because I'm shown a lot of sneakiness here. And that's an unconventional type of a relationship. It's super secret. To me, this would make sense with maybe him using escorts um, and maybe one of somebody that he was with a secret relationship they, they could have blackmailed him maybe that was in one of those times that that he was there I, I think definitely there may have been blackmail oriented because it's a sudden end because of actions taken it ends for relationship there's a secret then there's actually something in the material realm that needs to be obscured he could so they could be blackmailing him or you know or somebody could have passed even tower is an institution government um this is a very brief kind of a, a, a positive the clover it has something to do I feel like this is something who knows that government certain idiots in government are given a special treat And many times, what from what I understand, people, if this is a death, this could be an overdose. If this is just someone who ends the relationship and says, I'm going to, you know, you need to pay me some money. Um, I think it could be that. De I definitely think there could be blackmailing. Maybe that's what that Ten of Pentacles upside down reversed was in his fears of that a lot of money. And maybe that's why he's willing to perhaps accept dirty business or something. I don't know. I just feel like Lindsay's got a load of dirt. And I do think it stems from relationship basis. And I do think it's in connection either to a death or to blackmail of some kind. Or both. And I would say he's managed to just kind of keep it covered up. But I don't think that's going to last for very long. I don't think that's going to last for very long at all. It could be that the person changed. Uh, if, if it was just a single individual and it was like a relationship, it could be that that, that individual, something happened. And either circumstances changed and or it definitely ended. And that's kind of um, 
Have somebody close, the ring, and the lily, an elder. Oh, this is okay. Yeah, okay. I, don't, I get the word sugar daddy. Maybe he had a younger uh, lover elsewhere that he would send money for and maybe it turned into blackmail. That's what I am thinking. Okay, I want to see with, uh, 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 let me think, think. I'll try with this other deck too. I got some new decks recently and I'm contemplating, pardon me, I have allergies. Allergies are so annoying. Okay, now, this is the Star Spinner Tarot. Oh look, you guys are going to get a little bit of an unboxing here too. This is a beautiful deck, by the way. And I really like um, these types of neat, strong boxes so that you can keep your cards uh, in them and store them. It's, it's beautiful. Look at the inside. I don't know if you can see that so well. Let me see if I can. And I'm sorry if this makes a ton of noise. I don't mean to, but I just want you to see how beautiful. I don't think I'm doing a great job there. Hey, there's my foot. Hey, oops. Okay. Well, anyhow. There. This card has several different um, choices of lovers uh, um, in it for because there isn't just one sexual orientation, despite when what some very stupid people think. So I think that's pretty cool. It's a really neat deck. I, I, I do enjoy using this deck. Although there are a few of the chalice cards are a little too close to looking a lot alike, and it can be initially, you have to kind of do a double take. That would be my only complaint, but it's not much of one. It's a nice deck. Okay, so we're going to look at Mit, not Mitch, Lindsay. Lindsay. What does, what is Lindsay hiding? Is Lindsay, okay, how about this? Is Lindsay hiding a relationship where he was blackmailed? Is Lindsay hiding a relationship where he's being blackmailed? Or was this a death? This card, this deck too, it's because of the extra cards, I can't shuffle them all at once. So I just break them. And that's what I would suggest if you have a problem like me. If you have kind of smaller hands, um, or if you have arthritis in your hands, messed up tendons like me in my forearms and my wrists. I've just worn them out from being in the chair. They get inflamed a lot and it hurts. It's one way that I've found so far. And the other way is shuffling side to side. And I just try and lift the cards so I don't 
so I get them to easily slide, more easily slide. Oh, it's clouding over. Okay. We're looking at Lindsay's secret. What's Lindsay's big dumb secret? What's Lindsey Graham's secret that he, why did he become so pro-Trump? What's on him? What is it that is Lindsey's secret? Please, please, please let us see very clearly. Is it a relationship or someone past? That's the wound back. Okay. All right, I feel confident enough now. All right. Well, we have the Knight of Swords. So that is a very aggressive, aggressive energy. It's a rushing in. And it can be somebody that is a young adult, teenager to the age of sometimes 35 if they're really kind of immature, can also be about, and I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a Celtic cross on this one. So this is what covers him, is this is a sudden energy again. Um, that once you do something, it's dramatic enough that you can't walk it back. Mm, yes, okay. Now we have the Seven of Swords, and that is dealing with theft or just general underhandedness. This is what crosses him. So this is something that is, I think, illegal. And that there's a lot of quick, sudden action taken. Keeping an eye on this, this is this could be this could be black. It's certainly something illegal. King of Cups is the basis. Wonder if that's Putin. I get the King of Swords or the King of Cups for Putin. Sometimes Pentacles, but that's just it depends on frankly the way he's coming at something. If he's being the the greedy guy, then I get the emperor, that kind of thing. If if he's being um, like if he is if he, if he's being criminal, like like poisoning type, then I get the cup, the chalice, that kind of stuff too. Or if he's up to no good. But I don't know who that King of Cups is. It might just describe an energy. Uh, a male that he was with, maybe. What crowns is the Hermit. I tend to think, uh, I'm tending to think that this deals with underage. And again, there is a sense of, to me, of travel, and it's quiet, it's on the down low. You might say you're going one place, but you're going somewhere else. That's a real strong feeling. Let's see what's in the past. Is the Ace of Wands. Would have been a new beginning or business?
maybe where certain people are made available. Um, it, it chalices too, chalices. So it's an intimate encounter. I think I think he go has gone certain places for intimate encounters quite possibly with somebody that um, could be underage that's in his near future. Now with this layout I'm not I'm looking at the past. So this near future doesn't mean now in my opinion. Not the way I'm looking at it. I'm looking back at what whatever this was that happened or did that he was involved in that he that made him change. And it's something illegal. We have that that happened quickly and the fact that he's crowned by the hermit and I get that two of chalices and that it, it, it feels like sex um image of the three of wands is a little bit disturbing kind of childlike but it also looks at business overseas it also looks at someplace further out so i believe this is something that didn't happen within the united states um if it did, it would be where he's traveled, but I tend to think it's further overseas. So there, whatever this is, whether it's, maybe it's more than one thing. Maybe it's a funny money and funny accounts and a, a liking for underage escorts. In the environment is the emperor. I so I feel like that's Trump. That's why, and Trump is in his environment. I think, and Trump has aware awareness of it. And you look at the reading here as a whole. Let's see if I can. Hopes and fears, he has the Page of Wands. Oh. This could be somebody... that... is like an... like a adolescent, maybe. I don't like to think like that. I try and it's like, uh, I'm trying to argue with myself. What could that be? Hopes and fears. I also feel like with the wands that he's afraid of this news getting out. Because to me, it's also about electronic messages or images, things like that. I think he's afraid of this getting put online. So this makes me feel, or going viral, um, this makes me feel like there could be film or something along those lines. The quote unquote, the receipts that could get him in trouble. 
and he gets the Wheel of Fortune as his end card, and that is that what you do in the past sets you up for what's going to happen in the future. And your past can literally catch up with you. And it looks like it will with this. We're going to, I believe, probably find out. I think it has to do with travels. And it could be that in one of the times that he went to go do whatever he was up to, somebody died or filmed it and began blackmailing. Or that, I definitely think Trump's probably, you know, holding this over his head. I think he likes young boys. And by that, I tend to mean, like, maybe teenagers. I hope no younger than, that's just, I can't. It's just wrong. Here we get the Seven of Wands. I'm trying to perhaps... No, I don't feel like that's what that usually means. And the moon. Yeah, okay, I feel like this is something more that he's hiding. I feel like it's a, a youthful energy that's that he is trying to cover up. Because the, the individual looks like Peter Pan. Okay. And I can't tell you just how creepy... Ugh, that makes me feel. All right. I don't know. That is the Seven of Wands. So I think he's in the moon. So I think he has done this in a variety of places that he's traveled to. There is something definitely there. And I tend to think that it has to do with escorts. And they may not be of legal age. That back here that we would say, at least, that is culturally, in, 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 you know, wrong. And ethically wrong. Here's that Four of Swords. And the Knight of Chalices. Hmm. Ah. An offer. That's made. And could be a young man as well. I, I think there could have been a passing of a young man. Because I was shown grief as well. So, The, the four was first. So, I feel like it deals, there we go. I feel like it deals with a young man. I also feel like there's a sense of apathy. Also got with another card to do with a lack of emotional it's it's like a just an emotionless end i got that with the lenormand deck when i used it and this 
could be similar, but I just, I tend to think with those cards that I'm getting, there may have, there may have been an end and I, I think that it has to do with both money and likely it would not surprise me, intimate encounters that he has paid for that he does not want getting back out. Could be that if it's not just the fact that he's paid for intimate encounters, it could be also that these encounters are with people that uh, aren't of age. I feel like young men that aren't perhaps completely well, they could be 16 to 18, and I know in different countries they have different laws, but um, he's a creeper and a drinker, and I think he's going to be an, e even, an even heavier drinker in the upcoming months, because I think he's already drinking now. But so that's, that's on Lindsay. So to sum it up, I think... Lindsay has had little uh, rendezvous around the world, uh, and if he's not doing more than one thing that's illegal, and I think he is, um, then I'm going to say it could be underage escorts um, and money. So that's what I'm going to put out there. Thanks for watching and I hope I can do another video today.